Providing a constituency service is a key role for MLAs. In the Sinn Féin office in Dunloy, we assist those who are entitled to benefits but need help with filling out forms. We help get people a house. We lobby road service to grit roads, fill potholes and carry out resurfacing. We provide and sign Irish passport forms. We meet, plan and strategise how we can retain, campaign and fight for vital services such as the Dalriada and Causeway hospitals. How we will fight the sectarianism that still exists in Ballymena and Ballymoney councils. And we will represent anyone from any background who is treated unfairly and unjustly. Yeah! Ah, get away from me this instant. Shoo, shoo. What's going on back there, Jim? The natives have the estate overrun, Ted. I don't think I can take any more of this. This wasn't part of the plan for a parliament free of Catholics, Republicans, Irish speakers, Gaelic footballers, hurlers. Ah, there's no need to knock the hurlers now. I'm looking forward to enjoying the crack at this year's puck fodder. You're easy bought, Ted. Don't knock it till you've tried it, Jim. You're just jealous, as you haven't a hurling trophy named after you. Bah! You're nothing but a Lundy, Ted. Forgotten Ulster! Up the dubs, Jim. Up the dubs. Over the past four years at the Assembly, I have represented North Antrim and constituents on a variety of issues. I secured debates in the Chamber on local interests, such as lignite mining and the failure of two social development ministers to implement the Dunclog Action Plan. I held numerous meetings with ministers, including one with Conor Murphy on the need for traffic calming measures in Grenravel, which we helped to secure. In 2007, Dahi Mackay used assembly privilege to unveil the links between the DUP and a private developer who wanted to build a visitor centre at the Giants Causeway, and this eventually led to Ian Paisley Jr. resigning as a minister. As the outgoing chair of the assembly's finance and personnel committee, Dahi knows only too well the economic challenges that lie ahead. At the committee, he has pressed the banks to change their current lending practices to ensure that businesses do not go to the wall unnecessarily and that the construction sector is given an opportunity to grow so that workers can remain working closer to home. As a party, Sinn Féin were the first to outline an alternative to accepting £4 billion of British government cuts. We helped to ensure that £1.5 billion of revenue was added to the budget, which will go towards health care, education, jobs and infrastructure. We will continue to fight against these cuts through initiative and hard work. Soundbite economics from other parties would have resulted in the public having to face the full impact of these cuts. Sinn Féin recognises the contribution Gaelic games and culture makes to society. I have been working along with the Chair of the Culture, Arts and Leisure Committee, Barry McElduff, to have Gaelic games and culture included in the local tourism strategy. And of huge importance to me and to Sinn Féin has been promoting Gaelic games and Irish culture and making sure that government invests uh, properly in Gaelic games, infrastructure and uh, Irish culture. Thankfully, uh, we've got the project now over the line, i.e. £61 million for the refurbishment of Casement Park, Antrim's County Ground, and that's a good thing. And uh, certainly people like Martin McGuinness as Deputy First Minister and others have been centrally involved in holding government to account that that money should be spent in that particular way. This assembly is no longer a cold house for Irish culture where we regularly host successful Gaelic teams, pub fadas and Irish musical events. And every member of this club and every person involved in this particular team is a leader in their own right. They're a leader within their community. No doubt young girls within the club, young girls within that community are looking up to all of you as role models. So I don't think we should underestimate uh, the impact of this particular result because in all Ireland and whatever sport and whatever level is a huge achievement. So if you want a good constituency service, a voice for a stronger economy and jobs, further delivery on equality and strong effective Republican representation, vote Heil Sinn Féin ever again, vote Mackay number one for North Antrim on Thursday the 5th of May.